folks, does not get a whole lot bigger nor better than this. UFC light heavyweight championship fight is upon us, and all eyes are on the incumbent as he makes this walk for his latest title defense. He is walking once again as the light heavyweight champion of the world. The UFC's glamour division long has just been viewed as a division with the most talented guys because you're not quite heavyweight, you're just right underneath. These guys, this guy is a champion in the highest order. He has defended his belt time and time again, and he intends to extend that streak tonight. Yeah, it wasn't all that long ago that this belt was vacant. It was changing hands seemingly every other title fight. Now this man is holding it down and looking to dispose of another challenger properly tonight. John Jones, ready to reward his supporters once again here tonight. Tale of the tape for this light heavyweight title fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Dan Henderson. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed light heavyweight champion John Bones Jones All right, Herb Dean, our referee for this one just about to get underway So here he is, the youngest champion in UFC history another massive spot for Johnny Bones Jones We'll see how he approaches the early going here Nice mix of knockouts and submissions Hard to find any sort of weakness thus far in the UFC career of one of the greatest of all time. Jones takes the center of the octagon. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, he's 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. All those long-range weapons are John Jones's calling card. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Jones gets touched by that kick to the body. Oh, nice connection there by John Jones, and he is fighting with it. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Oh, that is a high-level transition to half guard, and now in a position to do a lot of damage. Watch him sit back on the leg and land big ground and pound. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Nice transition. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Two minutes remain in the round. Jones gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Defense holds up. And now some separation. Oh man, he's hurt. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. And now 
some distance as they pull apart. Henderson gets back up. All right, so it looks like some bruising on that thigh right now. He hasn't really done anything to address that weapon from his opponent. He's got to check some kicks. I know right now it may not be that damaging. But down the line, you're going to really pay for it if you don't address it right now. Round two straight ahead. While we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round, both landed, multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do all right, it. round two. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two guys. He hurt him! He hurt him real bad. Massive head kick! Oh, nice kick. Up and cut. Kick checked by Henderson. Straight punch there, lands on the counter. Nice job using his reach advantage there. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. And there's a takedown attempt. He gets a single call. Does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. Just the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Jones is cut above the eye now from that strike, so we'll see how the fighter deals with that definite adversity now. Oh, big knee! Beautiful diving strike lands. Oh, man, another strike gets through. This could be over soon. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement, but if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Yeah. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. 30 seconds to go in round two. 20 seconds to go round two. All right, well, perhaps he has a point to prove. Perhaps there's a hip injury, but this man's UFC career has been defined by the takedown. He hasn't attempted a single one. He has been oh, it, It's very surprising, and honestly, for a guy that enjoys the wrestling, he's very disappointed. Because to me, it seems like he doesn't want to put the effort out there tonight to try and secure takedowns. You take a lot of risk by not using your best skill, and you almost put your opponent on your level by being limited. Well, maybe he can hear us. Bro, if you don't attempt to take down, DC's going to pull out his cellular telephone and start watching collegiate wrestling. Oh. So. Change levels! <laughs> All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready to fight? You ready? Do it. Round three of a possible five. Oh, 
overhand is good. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Well, that's a nice good takedown to change the complexion of this round. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Henderson. That was nice. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Back mount now. Henderson getting peppered here from the top. He's got to figure out a way to cover up. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why. Ref won't help you here. Just as the referee will never... Oh, nice headlock. Oh, that rear naked choke is tight. All in on the rear naked choke. And now that he's got the choke on beat the neck, it's only a matter of time before his opponent has to tap. Submission defense on full display. display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Jones. Let's go. Push, push, push. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Great job maintaining position over submission. Very smart. Great fight IQ. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. He passes to half guard. While working pretty effectively from the top here, nice ground and pound by Jones. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. Ah. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. A lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. A lot of good work on the ground. You knew, John, going into the fight, that if he was able to get this fight to the floor, he would have the most success. And you saw it in that exchange. He was able to get posture, land some really good ground and pound as the round came to an end. Ready to fight. Ready. Go. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The nice... Oh, big knee! Oh, look at that. Jones gets... It looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. That's in pretty deep. Getting close to the finish. He's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts. Even when they get him, he continues to stay calm and patient, and he's defending these, take these submissions. 
Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Oh, nice. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Just misses there with the left. Stuff to take down, no problem. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Jones. He cut him. He cut him. So many ground strikes landed that eventually he got him cut. Big right hook there by the champ. Anderson gets back up. Twenty seconds left. Nice kick. shot there just before you heard the horn so he gets saved by the bell the question is though what type of condition will he be in when he gets up off that stool 60 seconds here to recover the onus is on his corner to keep his head in the fight all right so let us now check out some of the action in that round dc there was a whole lot of it including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show it was a lot of action it was back and forth action but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. It is the fifth and final round. Oh, and he goes to the hook now, it's good. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. He's in trouble. for the TKO, prioritized the finish tonight, absolutely gets it with style points, a huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're going to do, and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what he did. Him and his team are going to have a fantastic time tonight celebrating. They should all be very proud. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Bruce Buffer inside the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 25 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed USC light heavyweight champion of the world. So just like that, we have a new UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, and it's always...